Next week begins on a relatively quiet note. Aside from the fundamental updates regarding Brexit and the global US trade saga, the first potentially market moving information comes from the Bank of Japan as they release their latest minutes from the monetary policy meeting in the early hours of Tuesday morning. Influential data really starts to ramp up on Wednesday evening as the Federal Reserve update the markets with their interest rate decision and monetary policy statement at 7 o'clock BST. The USD will be interesting to monitor during the press conference 30 minutes later, in which the, always eager to know more, members of the press quiz the Fed Chair Jerome Powell further about forward guidance. For those who trade the New Zealand dollar, we hear from the Reserve Bank of New Zealand at 10 o'clock BST, who are due to deliver their decision on interest rates and stance of monetary policy. From midday Thursday, we could see the euro dollar pair moving into focus as Germany is set to release their consumer price index, followed closely by US GDP data and durable goods. Durable goods refer to goods planned to last uh, more than three years, such as motor vehicles and appliances. Due to typically larger costs, they are a good way of gauging the US economic situation and therefore should command attention. At the break of Friday, the yen could be volatile as Japan is due to release their CPI data at 12.30 BST alongside their unemployment rate, something to be mindful of if you're holding overnight positions. Europe takes over in the morning with the German unemployment rate release, followed closely by the sterling sensitive UK GDP at 9.30 BST. Eurozone uh, data in the form of CPI inflation uh, will come out. Generally, a high reading anticipates a hawkish attitude in which there will be a positive or bullish uh, movement for the euro, while a low reading is negative or bearish. For more information on our economic calendar and company results, please see our weekend. Thank you.